Hey, so today we're going to replace the battery on a Dell 2900 uh, with a Perk 6. It's going to be the same if you have a Perk 5. Uh, first thing you want to do is set the battery down in the same position as it's on your Dell server. Take the old battery out, put the new battery in. Um, if you set the battery down, uh, it may, just makes it easier if you get the wire in the right way. Now I'm going to show you the difference between a uh, Perk 6, Perk 5, and a Perk 4. So we're going to uh, disconnect the cables that go to the SAS drives on the uh, server, and we're going to disconnect the battery from our Perk 6. This is a Perk 6i. I is internal. So this is basically the board that runs your server. Uh, again, this is the Perk 6. Uh, it's going to look almost uh, identical to the Perk 5, and uh, except for the memory. Um, so here's a Perk 4. This is a Perk 4E for external, because it does external RAID array. Um, the battery is connected to the memory stick. And then here is a Perk 5, and you clearly see the memory stick on there. The Perk 6 does not have the memory stick. Um, these are absolutely interchangeable. And again, on the back where I just pointed was uh, where you can tell if you have a Perk 5 or Perk 6. Clearly, if you have memory, you have a Perk 5. If you do not have memory, you have a Perk 6. Has the same battery connectors. One has memory, one does not. You flip them over, backs pretty much look alike. These are interchangeable. So if you have a Generation 1 2900 and you lose your Perk 5 SAS controller, um, go out and find a Perk 6i on eBay and replace it with that. Your RAID array will find the Perk 6. It will work fine. You may have to do an import porn config. Um, but the uh, a server with a Perk 5 can be upgraded to a Perk 6 without any problems. And make sure you get your um, firmware drivers updated. Thanks for watching my video.